I'm going to be president of this country, whether you like it or not. Yes. And I'll preside over the affairs of this country, including presiding over you. I think you must start adjusting to that reality. The sooner you do that, the less chest pains you'll have when that reality comes. Welcome back to our channel. The following short story will be part of a mini-series about the leaders of the top political parties of South Africa, and we've decided to kick this off with the fascinating journey of Julius Malema, a figure whose impact on South Africa's politics cannot be overstated. Julius Malema was born on March 3, 1981, and grew up in Sechego, a township near Palakwana, South Africa. Growing up in the midst of apartheid, Malima's childhood was shaped by the struggle for freedom and equality. His family was politically active, and Malima was exposed to activism from a young age. As a teenager, Malima joined the African National Congress Youth League, inspired by the vision of a free and equal South Africa. He quickly became involved in local politics, organizing protests and rallies in his community. Malima's rise within the ANC Youth League was swift. In 2008, at the age of 27, he was elected president of the league, a position he used to advocate for radical economic transformation. Malima's fiery speeches and calls for nationalization of mines and redistribution of land resonated with many young South Africans who felt left behind by the country's post-apartheid progress. This land belongs to the African majority in South Africa. These whites found us here and none of them came with a bag full of land. That's why they can't claim to be owning the land here in South Africa. However, Malima's confrontational style often put him at odds with the leadership of the ANC. His criticism of then-President Jacob Zuma's administration and calls for more aggressive action on issues like poverty and corruption led to tensions within the party. In 2012, Malima was expelled from the ANC for sowing division and bringing the party into disrepute. Undeterred, he founded his own political party, the Economic Freedom Fighters, with the goal of championing the interest of poor and marginalized. The EFF quickly gained traction, particularly among young people who felt let down by the ANC's apparent inability to tackle inequality and poverty. Malima's charisma and knack for rallying crowds made him a potent political figure. South Africa, make sure that South Africa, you are counted with me. Run South Africa, stand and make sure that our people understand that they need to be counted. You must be counted, you must be part of history, you must make sure that you are one of the people who are going to deliver economic freedom in our lifetime. Freedom in our lifetime. Amanda! One of Malima's most controversial stances is his advocacy for expropriation of land without compensation, arguing that it is necessary to address the historical injustices of apartheid. This position has earned him both praise and criticism, with some seeing him as a champion of the dispossessed and others as a dangerous demagogue. Throughout his career, Malima has been no stranger to controversy. He has faced numerous legal challenges, including charges of corruption, money laundering, and inciting violence. However, he has always maintained his innocence, portraying himself as a victim of political persecution. No one must disrespect us like that. No one. No magistrate, no prosecutor must disrespect us like that and then we keep quiet. She has never been early to any court. She says, come and turn, we come and turn, she's never here. She's never here. We must not talk because we are scared to go to jail or be disrespected. She can't be. We have rights. And our rights must be respected. Despite these challenges, Malima and the EFF have continued to grow in influence. In the 2019 general elections, the party increased its share of the vote becoming the third-largest party in South Africa's parliament. Julius Malema's political journey is a reflection of the complexities of South African politics. He is a polarizing figure, admired by some for his boldness and commitment to social justice, 
and vilified by others for his confrontational style and radical views. I never said I won't answer the question. So I'm, I'm, I'm reading my speech. No one is going to tell me what to do at what time. I'm in charge. That's why these fools are running around here. I'm in charge. On a point of order, Chair. Order, Chairperson. Point of order, Chairperson. Order, Chairperson. Point of order. order. Ruling party by point of order. Chairperson. Always undermine. Point of order. As South Africa continues to grapple with issues of inequality, corruption, and racial division, Malima remains a central figure in the country's political landscape, his influence shaping the debate on the nation's future. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoy it, and we'll come back for episode 2 of this mini series. We want to be clear this is a mini series before the elections on the 29th of May, and by no means are we showing support to any of the leaders or political party. This is purely for entertainment. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below who you are voting for, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.